Step number two for establishing native warm season grasses is to carefully consider your seed purchase. Most people are familiar with the appearance of bulk seeds like wheat, corn, and fescue. They are usually packaged in heavy bags weighing from 30 to 50 pounds. The first glimpse of native grass seed is deceiving and often surprises landowners. The seeds from many native grass species are fluffy or hairy in appearance. This fluff can make up the bulk of material in a seed bag. The actual amount of seed in a bag is relatively small. The remainder is chaff, such as stems and grass blades. Native warm season grass seed is typically sold on a pure live seed or PLS basis. It is determined by multiplying the percent of germination times the percent purity. Percent germination is simply the amount of seed in the bag that is alive and capable of germinating. Purity is the percentage of weight in the bag that is chaff-free seed. PLS percentages can vary considerably from one lot to another. For example, one 50-pound bag of bulk native grass seed might contain 30 pounds of PLS and 20 pounds of chaff. Another 50-pound bag might contain 20 pounds of PLS and 30 pounds of chaff. 24 pounds of PLS in a 50-pound bag is considered good seed. Reputable seed dealers always furnish a tag with each bag of seed identifying its testing analysis. The tag will list the percentage of pure live seed, germination, purity, and noxious weed seeds. Always check the tag for the test date. It should be no older than 10 months prior to the time the seed will be planted. Never purchase bulk untested seed from unknown sources or seed that lacks a proper testing label. You do not want to risk planting noxious weeds that are difficult to control or planting seed that is either low in viability or not adapted to Missouri's climate and planting conditions. The best seeds for Missouri will originate from a Missouri source. The Missouri Seed Improvement Association certifies native grass seed as coming from a Missouri source. Seed that meets stringent criteria will have a yellow tag attached to the bag. If a seed bag does not have a yellow tag verification, then you have no guarantee of its source. In addition, certain named varieties of native grass have proven to be adapted to Missouri conditions. Many of them, such as Rumsey Indian Grass and Roundtree Big Blue Stem, were selected especially for forage production and may not be desirable for a wildlife-only planting. The availability of native grass seed can vary from year to year. Environmental factors and demand can affect the supply and price. Order seed as early as possible to improve your chances of finding an adequate seed supply. In summary, buy only on a pure live seed basis. Look for a seed tag to verify its contents and percent germination. Avoid using bulk or untested seed. Buy seed with a yellow tag that shows Missouri as the source of origin. Native seed from adjacent states or an approved variety can be used if it meets your intended purpose. Order your seed as soon as possible to assure availability and on-time delivery.